Hello everyone. I think many of you have seen screw conveyors, especially engineers who design or work on conveying materials. But many people would never have tried designing a screw conveyor with a standard procedure. Or just design a shape but did not calculate that the screw conveyor is capable of working as expected or not. Those problems were eliminated when the design engineers came across my screw conveyor designer tool that I developed for Android phones and can be downloaded by anyone on the Play Store. The app is named Screw Cal Pro Engineering. In the application you will find a menu related to its use, which contains how to use there is a unit converter, and there is a tool to design and calculate vertical screw conveyors. Let me give you an example of how to use the application for everyone to easily understand. I want to convey dry sawdust, which has a specific weight of 12 pounds per cubic foot which requires a transport rate of 6,000 pounds per hour. My screw conveyor is 35 feet long and is 7.5 degrees upward. I can easily use my application to help design as follows. 1. Select material from the material table. In this table you can search for the desired material by adding words to find when finished selecting a material, you will find the material values shown in point 1. 2. Add the correct material specific weight value. In my example I added a specific weight of 12 pounds per cubic foot. 3. Add the desired loading rate into item 3. You will now notice the transport rate in cubic feet per hour displayed. Which we will compare this value with the maximum rotation screw conveyor rate in item 6. 4. Select trough loading by selecting the information of the material in item 1. 5. Choose the ingredient behavior of the material. 6. Select the size of the screw conveyor. This step can be trial and error based on the maximum rotation rate of the screw conveyor and compare it with the value in item 3. 7. Select pitch type. 8. Select flight type. 9. Select the number of mixing paddle. 10. Complete all values of the screw conveyor as follows. 10.1 Add the screw conveyor length value. 10.2 Fill in the incline angle. 10.3 Add pipe OD. This value can be viewed from guidance. 10.4 Add the pipe thickness value. 10.5 Fill the screw conveyor speed value. 10.6 Add flight thickness value. 10.7 Select the type of gear ratio. 11. Choose a hanger bearing. At this point you are ready to press the calculate button to view the results. Don't wait. Press the button to calculate. And these results are values that can be used in the next steps, such as purchasing a gear motor, designing a structure for supporting the weight of a screw conveyor, or prepare materials to prepare for flight production. It is also possible to save and send designs to your colleagues or emails. I hope this tool will be of great benefit to you. Thank you and highly respected.